We're in Curitiba, the capital of the Paraná province in southeast Brazil. With its 1.7 million inhabitants, the city has become a model and worldwide reference in sustainable development. 465 bus lines cater to more than 2 million passengers a day. Five main transportation routes crisscross the city thanks to the BRT, bus rapid transit system. Marcos Valente Isfa, our president of the URBS, the company that runs the public transportation system, explains how it works. This is a station tubo. The station is a tube, especially designed for Curitiba, an exclusive project for the city, a modern project for a modern city. The stations are elevated to provide the passengers with access on the same level as the bus. The buses have platforms that are lowered to allow the passengers to get on and off easily and safely. We have lanes that are reserved exclusively for the BRT. At all the termini, there are connections with other city buses. Today, we're also running integrated transport systems in 14 neighboring towns around Curitiba. The main bus lines are connected to the city's nine main districts by smaller orange buses. This second network spreads out like a spider's web. Architect Jaime Lerner, of Polish origin, served three terms as the city's mayor. He sees the city as a turtle. For me, the turtle is the best example of quality of life because it demonstrates the idea of shelter, of living and working in one place. A turtle shell also resembles an urban design plan. We can imagine that if we broke the shell of a turtle, it would die. It's the same with many cities in the world today, separating urban functions, living here, working there, leisure here. It's a disaster. To optimize the quality and efficiency of public transport, in environmental terms, the city is currently building a green line funded by the Inter-American Development Bank and the French Development Agency. Wilson Justice Soares is the project's technical coordinator. We're developing a new concept in response to the increase in passengers for a system that's now 25 years old and close to saturation point. We're therefore seeking to optimize the system to complement the traditional buses, which, like the metro, stop at every station we're going to introduce an express bus, which will go from one terminus to another more quickly, for passengers who need to get about more rapidly. One of the city's flagship projects is the creation of an ecological corridor some 40 kilometers long along the banks of the Barigi River. Funding again comes from the AFD, the French Development Agency. Marie-Pierre Nicolet is the AFD's assistant director in Brasilia. The idea is to revitalize the riverbanks and to create a corridor between the different parks that already exist along the river. There will be a certain green continuity all along the river. The banks will be reclaimed and a continuity will be created between the parks, enabling people to move about, to use the corridor as a thoroughfare, a path and a park at the same time. This aspect was of great interest to us, as it enabled us at AFD to develop our first really integrated operation in the urban biodiversity context. Another important project for the city's development involves the construction of a subway line running north-south to relieve congestion on the BRT line. Buses here pass every 52 seconds, and the line is close to its saturation point. Eric Farset is in charge of monitoring transport infrastructures for the Sao Paulo Economic Mission. 
Cet axe de transport euh, qui transporte actuellement This route currently caters to some 400,000 passengers a day and it's going to be transformed into a subway system. The city intends to dig a subway installation and to replace the surface route with landscaped gardens, bike paths and a pedestrian zone. The challenge for transport policy is to anticipate requirements so that Curitiba can stay ahead of the game. If you can leave home, cross a park, enter a modern air-conditioned subway and get to where you're going quickly and very comfortably, then it's not hard to work out that it's better to do that than take your car. Every city, any city in the world, can improve its quality of life in less than three years. It depends on how an equation of co-responsibility is proposed and dealt with. A city is not a problem for a country. A city is a solution.